Hello, welcome to Penny University. Today's class is EDC 101. And today's lesson is What's in Your Wallet? What's in your wallet? And no, I don't mean Capital One, which is probably the last thing you need in your wallet, in my opinion. But we just have a basic, a small chain wallet here. And I'm going to pick it apart really quick to give you some ideas on some things that you can carry in your wallet for emergency situations, aside from cash, credit cards, ID, and that phone number that you don't want anyone to know about. Now, I selected a chain wallet just to give you an idea. You could have a chain wallet. And a lot of people use these. It, traditionally, it was originally a biker kind of a thing so that their wallet wouldn't disappear out of their pocket while they were riding down the road. You could just as easily use a traditional wallet, which you see this wallet is a traditional size wallet, which is much larger than the one I'm using in the example. And I'm using a small version of a wallet because obviously you can get your average size wallet like this one, which has a few of the tools you're going to see in here. Or you can get the larger traditional biker size wallet. This is just a small version, just to demonstrate to you how we conceal a few things. So what have we got? How about some first aid items? You can get uh, your alcohol preps, your emergency wipes, you can put bandages, you can put emergency sutures, they all come in a little package like this and they can fit easily into one of the pockets in your wallet. How about a multi-tool like this? serrated edge, sharp edge, bottle opener, a uh, little corner for uh, screwdrivers here and here, multiple functions. It's made out of steel. Let's see what else we have in here. A multi-tool, another one. Can opener, screwdriver bits compass, magnifying glass, a punch blade, a relatively thick one actually. And this is, this device is credit card sized. It's a little thicker than your average credit card as you can see there, but it's credit card sized. It'll fit in your wallet. How about a credit card knife and that's exactly what this is this is a folding knife plastic handle blade comes out and then you just simply fold in these ends and snap it into place and you've got a knife not an everyday use knife but a really good emergency knife and this is actually the thickness of a credit card as well as the size of a credit card you fold it back into shape and turn the little disc like that to lock it into place. What else have I got in here? Little screwdriver kit. You know, the kind like the eyeglass screwdriver where you unscrew the ends and there's a Phillips on one side. And flathead on the other. That'll fit nicely in your wallet. It's nice and small. I want something to start fire with. Remember these? When people used to use a book of matches? A book of matches will fit nicely into your wallet, into one of the pockets, won't it? And if you are really rambunctious, you can take a kit like this. You know what this is, a flint kit. If you take the flint stick off and your metal piece without this key end, they will fit into your wallet. Let me see what else I've got here. Ah, people like to carry uh, thumb drives. How about a couple of memory sticks? A traditional memory stick and a conversion memory stick for the little memory card that goes inside of your phone. You can carry around technical information 
inside one of these. Just like as if you had a thumb drive in your pocket. How about a micro multi-tool? How cool is that? Screwdriver bits, little pair of pliers, little wire cutters. You can totally MacGyver yourself out, folks, and that's what you're trying to do. This is, that looks kind of thick, but because it's so compact, as you just saw, it does fit inside of your wallet. Now, Swiss Tech makes these, and you can get this at, like, Home Depot. For those of you who are really rambunctious, get one of these. Now, what's that, you ask? This is actually a handcuff key. It's a micro handcuff key, a compact one. You can fit that in your wallet. Not saying to get yourself into trouble and escape, just saying that if you needed to, you could fit a little micro handcuff key inside your wallet. See now, I had all that stuff jammed into a very small wallet because like I pointed out this wallet is like a child size wallet it is much smaller this is a traditional size wallet let me put one on top of the other here you'll see what I mean there's your traditional wallet much larger and I've got the same things in this one that I had in that one I demonstrated with a smaller one to show you, yes, you can conceal all of this stuff. And also, like I said, because a lot of people like to have the chain, and this can be used in an emergency also. This can be a defensive and even an offensive weapon or a tool in an emergency to have this chain. Think Altoid tin, folks. Oh, an Altoid tin is a storage unit, and you can put a bunch of stuff like this in there. Your wallet is also a storage unit. It's just that traditionally, the only thing that anybody puts in their wallet is cash, credit cards, business cards, ID, things like that. They don't think of it in terms of, okay, can I store stuff in here for an emergency? Yes, you can. And you don't have to have all this stuff, okay? You can look at this and say, you know what, I could use that, I could use this, maybe it'd be a good idea if this was in there. You pick what you need. There may be stuff I didn't show you that can go in your wallet that would be a great idea. There's no such thing as a perfect EDC everyday carry uh, setup that is going to be great for absolutely everybody. Everyone's a little different. Everyone needs something a little different. This is just some suggestions. Now, if I can make one more suggestion for you, be mindful of what is actually in your wallet because you don't want to like go to the airport or the courthouse with this still in there you're going to want to take stuff like this and this and this and even this out of your wallet if you're going through a checkpoint they will give you a hard time be mindful of what is in your wallet but keep in mind that your wallet is a self-contained storage unit that you're carrying around in your pocket all the time and this is not limited to just guys because women most of you have a clutch purse which is basically just a long wallet that you keep in your purse or carry with you ladies you can put a lot of this kind of stuff in there as well have any ideas for what else might go in a wallet for an EDC situation Go ahead and put it down in the comment section below. Share it with us. We'd love to see it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more EDC Carry videos in the future. Thank you for attending EDC 101.